In 1999, Microsoft announced to the world this new futuristic programming language called C Sharp. Originally, it was going to be called C Cool, but luckily for us, due to trademark issues, they had to call it C Sharp. C Sharp is an elegant and powerful language that allows you to create applications for Windows, Linux, Mac, Android, iOS, embedded platforms, and many more. Visual Studio, a tool that you can use to assist in writing C Sharp, has a host of powerful tools to help you in creating, testing, and deploying your software. Microsoft are continually improving the language and its features, as well as the platforms that it can run on and the tools that you use to write C Sharp. So what can C Sharp do? The answer is pretty much anything. It can run on mobiles, desktops, servers, in data centers or cloud services. It can be used to create artificial intelligence and machine learning code. It can be used in the Internet of Things, or it can be used to create games. This course will teach you the capabilities and features of the language, so you can then go on to use it in any of the areas mentioned. I won't cover all the textbook meanings of C Sharp, such as object-oriented, type safety, polymorphism, and encapsulation. Instead, I will teach you how to code hands-on, and not what all of the fancy terms in the industry mean. I'm entirely self-taught, so I was never taught that this means that, or that what I was doing was a certain name, pattern, or paradigm. And that never held me back. If anything, the lack of that knowledge made me a better developer. I was not held back constantly doubting my own abilities, wondering if I knew a new term or technology, or if I was doing something the right way. Instead, I just did it my way. I found the right way to do it, what worked for me, and I understood my code. As it turned out, a lot of what I did are now industry standard practices, technologies, and terms. So I never missed out on the industry. I probably just helped to lead the industry without realizing what I was doing become standard. Worrying about terms and acronyms used in the industry can make you feel lacking as a developer, as if your skills are left behind. Instead, I've always embraced the self-taught nature of my skills. I was never deterred by new terms or acronyms coming out in the industry. Instead, simply felt confident to figure things out my way when new technologies come out and implement the code that worked for me. That worked out great for me, and that's how I'm going to teach you C Sharp my way.